Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to export your HTML emails from Figma to the Loops email marketing and transactional email platform with the Emailify Figma plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here. And if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and then click on the Emailify plugin under the plugins tab, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, and that will let you run the plugin from your plugins list later. So I've already clicked on the save icon, so I'm just gonna go to my canvas, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, and then go down to saved plugins and click on Emailify. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it allows you to design HTML emails in Figma and then export those automatically to code without needing to manually develop anything. So I'm not gonna be going through all of the design features today, but you can check out some of the other tutorials on our YouTube channel if you'd like to go through those. Uh, or you can start with a Figma template, which is Emailify ready, just to give you an example of the kinds of designs you can create using the plugin. So I'm just gonna keep it really simple today. I'm just gonna call this uh, example template and click add new Emailify container. And that will allow you to start adding components from the plugin, which you can then customize the content and design of for your own brand using the normal Figma tools that you're used to. So again, I'm not gonna be going through all of the design features today. Uh, there's a couple of other good tutorials on the channel, or you can go to the documentation site to check those out. But if you are designing an email for the Loops platform, you definitely wanna to go to the footer tab over here and just scroll down under the platform section to the letter L and find the Loops footer and click on that one. So clicking on that option will automatically pre-populate the unsubscribe link for the Loops platform. So this will add the unsubscribe link there. So you definitely wanna add that in just as a required tag before uploading the email into Loops. So now that we've got our email designed, we can preview that in the plugin by clicking on the preview button here, which will automatically load up the real HTML that's gonna get exported as a preview. You can test that out on mobile devices and desktop devices. And you can also apply any mobile overrides as well. So if you wanna, for example, shrink some text or change the size of text or adjust padding on mobile and things like that, uh, you can do that using the plugin. But again, I'm not gonna uh, go into detail about that today. I'm just gonna leave all those as the defaults. So provided that you're happy with your preview and you're happy with your design, you can then click on the export HTML button in the plugin and change this HTML email option and scroll down to platforms. And again, find the loops platform. So you wanna click on loops and you just wanna make sure that you select the email you wanna export. You can add your subject line here uh, please be mindful that you will also have to re-add the subject line in loops later, but adding it here will also add it to your title tag in case anyone opens the email in their browser, and then the browser tab will also get this title tag populated with your subject. Uh, and then you can also add pre-header text. So this is the text that comes after your subject line when someone's viewing it in Gmail or Outlook. So you can add all of your pre-header text in here, and then you won't have to add it later because it will automatically get included in the template. So now that we've got our subject line and preheader added, we can go ahead and click on the export for loops button. And this is gonna automatically generate the code uh, for the loops platform and allow us to save that to our computer. So now that it's finished exporting, we can click on the download your zip file button and just save that anywhere to your computer. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And if you open up that zip file and then open up the folder that it creates, you can see here that we've got a folder called zips or uh, zips for upload to loops.so. So you'll notice that when we log into loops, uh, as I'm already logged into, and then go to our templates page. So if you click on the templates page in the navigation, and then scroll down to blank campaign. So if you click on uh, blank campaign, create a new campaign from scratch, you can then go to this uh, new campaign page and what you wanna do is click on this little upload a custom email button. So there's a little label that says upload a custom email with the icon with the up arrow. So click on that. And that will bring up this screen here, which allows you to drag and drop a zip file. And you can see that it's asking for a zip file with an MJML file inside of it and the images also inside of the zip. So this is automatically being created by Emailify when you export the file. So you can see inside of this zips folder, it's already got the zip file that we're after. 
and we can just drag and drop that into the loops upload field here. So we've just dragged our example template.zip into loops. So now we can click on upload and this will automatically upload the template along with all of the assets into your loops campaign. So you can see here all of the HTML is being rendered as we'd expect. Uh, you can see all of the links. So we've got our unsubscribe link that we added for loops and all of that's looking really good. So yeah, that's basically it. As I said, you have to add your subject line again here. So you've got subject, uh, subject line that you can populate, which will get included in the send from loops and you can give your campaign a name. Uh, so we can call that campaign name test. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you how to upload your HTML emails from Figma into the loops platform. Uh, this is going to be a really easy way to go about it. Just using that prepackaged zip file. Uh, for context, the contents of that zip file we can see just by opening up the zip here. And what it contains is just a folder of images along with the index.mjml file. So not an HTML file. Uh, Loops only accepts MJML, which is a special type of uh, email syntax that the plugin generates for you automatically. So you don't have to worry about uh, converting anything or doing anything special. You can just drag and drop the zip file inside of the zips folder and you'll be ready to go. So I hope that's been helpful if you've been using the Loops platform or you're just starting to use it with your team. Uh, it's a really great product and I think this is a really easy way of getting custom designs in the platform if you want to design them in Figma first and then export them out to HTML for the Loops platform to send out in a campaign. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.